Uh, we're here at the uh, Belgian Week of Gastroenterology with uh, Dr. Stefan Bourgeois from Antwerp. Uh, Dr. Bourgeois, thank you for being with us. There has been uh, an impressive uh, amount of advances in the treatment of hepatitis C. Uh, what are the main features in the field? Well, this research is going on for a few years now, but we're very happy that from the 1st of January we can also prescribe this kind of medication for our patients here in Belgium. And the advances are, are, are tremendous. Uh, it's really a revolution. We are able to treat our patients now for 12 weeks with interferon-free all oral regimens without any side effects and with a very good efficacy. So we can almost more than 90% of our patients cure from hepatitis C. What are the big actors in the field, the new molecules? Well, the new molecules, the new kits on the block uh, are not reimbursed yet, but uh, Sofosbuvir from uh, Gilead, uh, branded as uh, Sovaldi and Olisio, is the brand name of Simeprevir from Janssen, are two key cornerstones in the treatment of hepatitis C. But we are awaiting uh, the NS5A inhibitors like uh, Harvoni and especially Daclatasphere, hoping to be on the market uh, May, June. It is on the market from the 1st of March, but we hope it will be reimbursed soon, uh, somewhere in May or June. What is the situation for the Belgian patient, actually? Well, much better than it was before, meaning that now we can treat those in need of treatment, F3, F4, advanced fibrosis and liver cirrhosis. There's still a problem for other special populations. A lot of people and patients are frustrated because if they don't have advanced fibrosis, they still have to wait. This medication is very expensive and is only reimbursed now for advanced fibrosis and cirrhosis. And then there are the special populations of the MSM, the people uh, infected with HIV and hepatitis C, to be treated. They have to wait for the moment maybe we can help them with clinical trials if some of those are available. you have a message for the politics? Well, definitely, but we can't complain too much. I mean, we are in constant uh, debate and, and, and discussion with the people of Rezif Inami to have better reimbursement criteria, but we do understand this medication was very, very expensive uh, to, to, uh, to get on the market. It's very expensive uh, to, to sell it on the Belgian market, so we hope that there will be some understanding for the special populations to be treated, and we need really to, to be able to, to explain our patients why some of them still have to wait a little. Uh, how important is it to have uh, interferon and ribavirin free treatment? Well, interferon is very good medication, but the problem is the side effects. Uh, more than 90% of the patients suffer from side effects. Some are maybe you can live with, it, with them, meaning that flu-like symptoms is not the end of the world, but depression, anemia, fatigue, uh, thyroid problems, skin problems, all those kind of things make it really hell for patients that have uh, have had this medication don't forget those patients were treated for 24 to 48 weeks uh, and now they know very well that something is on the market now that is much better tolerated shorter no pill burden and with uh, more efficacy so it's 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 a big 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 difference can we cure every patient with this well, at this moment, uh, results are impressive, 95% uh, and more, but we still have to be aware that some of them, a minority, a really small minority, some of them cannot be cured uh, for hepatitis C at this point. But we're sure that when combining other medications, meaning uh, other DEAs, maybe with some interferon, we will be able to really treat them successfully. Okay, well, thank you very much for this interview. You're welcome.